Yeah, Jim, uh, I called you in this morning because um, the reports I'm getting about your your work ethic, dude, it's just it's just not cutting it around here. I'm afraid we're going to have to let you go. Honey? Hun? Hey Jim, it's me. Uh, look, I'm gonna stay at my mom's for the next couple days. Or more, I'm not I'm sorry, I just, I can't do this anymore. moms for the next couple days it's just it's not cutting it around here dude i'm getting all kinds of negative reports i, I don't have any choice man i'm sorry i just i can't do this anymore Sure about that? Can you see that? That's what would happen if you jump. You'd die, but you'd definitely feel it first. Who are you? I'm Stella. <laughs> What's your name? I'm Jim. Um... Why are you out here so late? Or... Early? So why are you gonna jump? There's no more reason to live. <laughs> why is that? It's a long story, kid. Well, I've got time, and uh, from the looks of it, you've got time too, so let's hear it. Long story short, I got laid off. <laughs> Where'd you work? I wasn't done, but I worked for Volkswagen. Okay, go on. My wife left me. That's, that's tough. 
Any kids? Friends? Family? No. My parents passed away a few years ago. I was an only child. I... I only have acquaintances. So you're telling me that your only reason for living was work and a wife that probably only cared about you for your money anyway? That's... That's all I had. Nothing else is going for me. That's... It's because you're not looking for the positives. Life's full of opportunities. I don't see it getting any better. Well, jumping off the bridge doesn't eliminate the chances of life getting any worse. It eliminates the chances of it getting better. And besides, the rocks don't look too appealing. Right. God, I can't believe a 12 year old's talking about a killing myself. I'm 15. So, wait, why are you out here so early? Well, I was gonna jump too, but now it doesn't seem like such a great idea. You only got one life to live. You gotta live it to the fullest. <laughs>